Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Recently, Microsoft hosted their hybrid work event, as many of you know, where they announced new features and improvements rolling out for Windows 11 in the future. And one of the key areas that will be getting an upgrade, um, just to do a quick summary, will be the File Explorer, which will be getting new features and experiences in the upcoming months, which will include a new homepage, pin files and tabs. And I did post on that last week, which I will leave a link to that video down below if you're interested. Now, this is just another quick video to keep you updated, which I thought would be of interest to uh, some of you. And that another feature now has been spotted uh, at their work event um, last week that um, could be coming to Windows 11, and that is that the widgets could be getting support for a full screen mode, according to a recent screenshot um, that was taken at uh, from the hybrid work event last week. Now, if you've been running uh, Windows 11 now for some time, you know we get the widgets in the bottom left-hand corner of the taskbar, and once activated, when you hover your mouse over it, it opens to a single panel, where we get our weather, traffic, top stories, and you can customize your news and interests to your own personal choice and preference in the widgets panel currently in Windows 11. Now, as mentioned, uh, a screenshot um, was taken uh, from that hybrid work event last week. And in this screenshot, we can see now that uh, a full screen mode and support for a full screen widgets and widget could be coming to future versions of Windows 11. And the widgets is still found in the bottom left-hand corner of the taskbar, but once activated, now opens to a full screen. And instead of one panel, we get two panels now combined, which gives us also, yeah, we can see some options. We It looks like there's an option to add a widget. You get your profile, and then there's a new option here, which looks like you can minimize the state of the actual uh, uh, widgets panel. Now, at this stage, it's not known if that means if you minimize it, if it goes back to, uh, just to the taskbar widget, or if it will go to a smaller minimized state, maybe just one single panel like it currently is in Windows 11, that's not known at this stage. And also, um, it's also not known if there will be an option uh, to uh, keep it like a single panel like it currently is, or if this will be the default option with an option to change the uh, the the mode, so to give it a single mode like it currently is in Windows 11. But I will keep you posted as I find out more. Now, Microsoft also uh, previously has confirmed, and I did post on this as well previously, that um, Windows 11 will be getting support for third-party widget integration uh, in the widgets panel. So that's maybe why. Uh, this has been spotted where they are going to increase the size and give you an option to increase the size of the widgets uh, panel to make it full screen just to uh, give you a larger surface area and more real estate so to speak if you want to combine more third-party widgets and integrate those into the existing widgets and newsfeed of the widgets panel uh, just to make that more accessible and just you know more visible as an option but it's not known at this stage and as I find out more I will keep you posted now if if you are unaware, if widgets is something you don't like um, and don't want to have and have access to in Windows 11, because some do consider widgets uh, bloatware in Windows 11, I actually find it quite useful, but some do consider it bloatware. In case you did not know, to disable the feature, you just right click on the taskbar in Windows 11, click on taskbar settings, and in the personalization taskbar page, yeah, you can just toggle that off and you can see widgets has been disabled and you can just toggle that back on and it's back so i just thought just i just wanted to keep you in the loop that um uh, the widgets panel looks like it could be getting full screen mode and full screen support in future versions of windows 11 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one